Illusion. Elision is the term for leaving out phonemes or syllables in order to form a shorter word. Elision is often used in poetry and music in order to keep the rhythm. In this situation, omitted sounds are replaced with an apostrophe. Elision makes words easier to say and makes speech faster. For this reason, elision is common in casual conversation. Elision can occur in many forms. Elision in function words. One common elision happens with function words. Function words are words that relate to grammar, like articles, auxiliary verbs, prepositions, pronouns, and conjunctions. These words lose some consonants or even a syllable in natural speech. For example, for, fa, are, a. Uh, to, t, our, a uh, or a, uh. your, your, them, m or m, and, un. So, function words have two pronunciations, the strong dictionary pronunciation and the weak pronunciation. The weak forms use the schwa, a, uh, which we examined in the section on the vowel schwa. The weak form is used in natural speech when function words perform their usual grammar role. As we can see, when the weak form is used, many of the function words sound the same. Consequently, we will not hear the difference in the native's natural speech. So, we should not try to pronounce them differently when we speak. In their weakened forms, function words are not pronounced independently, but are linked to their neighboring words and pronounced together. For example, I'm looking for a book. Is this your house? If they are used for emphasis or contrast, the strong form is used. For example, this is our house, not your house. H dropping. H dropping refers to the omission of the ha sound in function words that begin with H, like he, him, have, and has, if the H word does not begin a sentence. When H is dropped, the remaining vowel sound is linked to the preceding word. We learned this in the section on catenation. I saw him. I saw him. Did he ask her to go? Did he ask her to go? You should have told me. You should have told me. Is that his new car? Is that his new car? Contraction. We can see elision clearly in contracted forms. For example, I'll, she's, he'd. Vowels or consonants, or both, can be elided in contraction. Contractions are a necessary ingredient for rhythm and clarity since by reducing them, we can emphasize content words. If we do not use a contraction when expected, we are signaling something different. For example, the following two sentences convey different meaning. He's finished his homework. He has finished his homework. He's finished his homework states a fact, but he has finished his homework signals something like a surprise or an emphasis. So we should use a contracted form when expected. Pronunciation of contracted words Contracted words sound different from what we expect, so we need to know how they sound. These are common contractions in their sounds. I'm rhymes with dime. Your sounds the same as your, or your. He's and she's 
is, has, rhyme with bees. Its is, has, sounds the same as its. Weir rhymes with beer. There sounds the same as there or there. I've rhymes with five. You've rhymes with move. Here's is, has, sounds the same as here's. Theirs is, has, sounds the same as theirs. Whose sounds the same as whose. Wire, y r, sounds the same as wire. Wide, why did, why had, sounds the same as wide. How view, how have you, sounds like how view. Weave sounds the same as weave. They've rhymes with Dave. I'd, had, would, sounds the same as I'd. You'd, had, would, rhymes with renewed. He'd, had, would, sounds the same as he'd. She'd, rhymes with he'd. Weed, sounds the same as weed. They'd, rhymes with paid. I'll sounds the same as I'll, I'll. Yule sounds the same as Yule. Heel sounds the same as heel, heel. Sheel rhymes with heel. Wheel sounds the same as wheel. Might have sounds like might have. Negative contractions. Contractions allow us to de-emphasize expected use of function words so that we can emphasize important words. Clearly, negation words are important as they change meaning entirely. So contractions with negative words are pronounced clearly while affirmative contractions are reduced. That is, while affirmative contractions are said quickly, quietly, at a low pitch with a schwa vowel sound, the negative contractions are stressed with clearly articulated vowel sounds. For example, compare the following sounds. She's happy versus she isn't happy. He'll do it versus he won't do it. We're going versus we aren't going. She'll go versus she won't go. She would talk versus she wouldn't talk. We can go versus we can't go. She could hear you versus she couldn't hear you. You should eat that versus you shouldn't eat that. You should have done that versus you shouldn't have done that. You would have told him versus you wouldn't have told him. I've had a drink versus I haven't had a drink. Inferring elided sounds. As we can see, many of the contracted forms sound the same. For example, she's, he'd. We can infer which is said through our knowledge of the grammar structure of the sentence. She's coming. She is. She's gone. She has. He'd go if he could. He would. 
She said he'd gone. He had. How'd he do it? How did? How would? How'd he done it? How had? This inference method to find an omitted sound does not work in certain situations, like won't and want to, or can and can't, since in these similar sounding pairs, the verb root form is used for both. Won't is a contraction of will not. Won't and want are pronounced differently due to their vowel sounds. Won't is pronounced won't, but want is pronounced want. So, won't has a longer vowel than want. Can versus can't. The ta in the nt cluster can be elided. See the elision in consonant clusters in the following section. When t is dropped, can and can't can sound the same. There are enough differences, though, to tell whether the speaker said can or can't. First, can in its normal use is a weak form, so its vowel is reduced to a schwa. By contrast, can't is a full strong sound, so its vowel is long and clearly articulated. In other words, can is can, but can't is can. Secondly, there is no break between can and the following verb, but there is a break with can't since ta is held. Listen to these paired examples. I can do that versus I can't do that. She says he can come versus she says he can't come. But if can is used for emphasis, it retains the full vowel sound. So the can with emphasis can sound the same as can't. I'll appreciate it if you can help versus I can't help you. Syllable elision. Syllable elision means the drop of a schwa in an unstressed syllable, which results in the loss of a syllable. Some long words that are stressed on the first syllable squeeze weak syllables right out. So some words that appear to have three or more syllables actually have fewer syllables. For example, consider these words, camera and family. They are three-syllable words when spoken carefully, camera, family, but in actual everyday speech situations, these words are pronounced as two-syllable words, camera, family. These are more examples of syllable elision. Library, library, probably, probably, A uh, can also easily disappear at word boundaries when it comes at the start of a word and is positioned between two stressed syllables. For example, go away, go away, go about, go about. In these cases, due to the elision of the schwa, consonants follow after go. So we do not need to insert a semivowel, unlike the situation where swa is not elided, thus needing a w intrusion. Elision in consonant clusters. Elision also happens in consonant clusters. In this way, the clusters are easy to say. We examined the deletion of a consonant in a cluster when we discussed voicing. When a word ending in a consonant cluster has final ta or da 
and the next word begins with a consonant, the ta or da can be dropped. Next day. Next day. First day. First day. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. The last car. The last car. Kept going. Kept going. Must be. Must be. Most common. Most common. Best friend. Best friend. Interest rates. Interest rates. I left France. I left France. Hold the dog. Hold the dog. Smiled gently. Smiled gently. NT and D ending in word boundary. When a word ending in NT links into a word beginning with a vowel sound, the final ta is often deleted. For example, convenient excuses. Convenient excuses. Independent idea. Independent idea. Percent of voters. Percent of voters. Patient asked. Patient asked. Apartment in the city. Apartment in the city. Accident occurred. Accident occurred. The da sound is often deleted when a word ending in und links into a word that begins with a consonant sound. When the da is deleted, the un must link smoothly to the beginning consonant sound of the following word. These are examples. And then. And then. Diamond ring. Diamond ring. And said. And said. Hand me. Hand me. Stand back. Stand back. Sound familiar. Sound familiar. Weekend trip. Weekend trip. Hand me the book. Hand me the book. Send packages. Send packages.